Kate and Q and Stevens. Um, two kids, Mila, Logi, yeah. and yeah. we're expecting our third one in January. In April of this year, Q and lost his job. He was changed. We're out to return to the village. And um, within 24 hours, I was let know that one of my two jobs also fell through. So it was like the Lord stopped everything in our lives and to really get our attention and, and show us that He wants to do something huge. So we um, spent time in his, in his presence and just asking what must we do and where do we go from here, Lord? And we've got miles to feed. We just found out we were pregnant with the third. We really felt like we need to start looking for for work outside of Gauteng. Um, so Kieran got one interview in Cape Town. So in faith, we, we booked the flight. Um, so when I came down to the interview, I was like really just saying, you know, like, Lord, like, we're not just doing this in faith, but we're really trusting that your word is, is truth and what we need to do. You know, we, I went to the interviews and the one that I really enjoyed the most was the one that I didn't expect to get that day, which was completely by a coincidence, but we know the Lord works and it was just really cool to get that interview. And the only problem was it was the one interview that didn't start the following month after April. So if we can find something to do in between, that would be awesome. So through referral and through friends, I found a lady that does sort of like um, contract work down here. The time period would have been uh, 10 weeks between me losing my job and starting with a new place, but I hadn't found out if I got that job yet. We are just like, again, just laying it at the Lord's feet and just trusting His name and His word. And uh, that same week, I found out that the contract came through, but it was for six weeks. So I said, okay, well, cool, six weeks is better than nothing. But they wanted me there the following Monday, and they called me on the Wednesday. Um, and then literally the Friday, I found out that I got the job here in Belleville. And um, that they wanted me to start in July instead of August, which meant that the 10 weeks turned into six weeks. So it was just really, again, just the Lord saying, I want this for you. If you don't know already, the Western Cape is much more expensive than Gauteng to live in. When I started looking for properties to stay for us to live in, and I couldn't give much guarantee because I was looking six week contract and the things still needed to be finalized for the new job. So I also didn't have much of a confidence for um, people wanting to rent their places out. But even in coming to the church here, yeah, I put my message, I put a message on Shofar's uh, Facebook group and within two days was contacted by different people knowing of someone else who has a house, who has this. Again, being part of God's family and just having faith in Jesus just really sort of pulls people together and um, you know, just helps each other to provide and we found a lovely home to stay in, in, in Belleville and one that we probably would never be able to afford. Well, not at least in the near future, but um, just been really blessed with people's generosity and seeing our hearts and also ultimately seeing that what God's plan is for our family and um, you know, just providing for us in that manner. And it was so special for us just to know that this is definitely where the Lord wants us and He called us yeah, for now in the season with our children and stuff. The stuff that people have done for us that our own genetic family has only ever done for us. And it's put a really new meaning for me especially to the word adoption. Um, just knowing that even though we were in church that side, when we came down here we were as much as part of God's family as we were out there. And, um, there were a few times where, where we didn't know how we were going to make the next month. The Lord just reminded us of that word in, in Psalm 34 that says that the, ch the children of the righteous will never go hungry. They'll never beg for bread. And um, we never had to beg. People were always bringing, bringing things over. People would ring us up and say, oh, you've been on our hearts. Yeah, so in it all, we've just seen how faithful the Lord is with provision and how perfect His provision is. We really just want to honor Him for the, the countless times that He's rescued us. There's been nights where we don't know how it's going to work. And we don't know what we're going to and what it's going to look like on the other side. But God has never failed us. My dad said it so nicely where he said that God's heart is is not to see us fail. Mm. His heart is to have us know Him more. Yeah. And I think that's the product of obedience, is, is knowing God more.